The Dodgers are off to a great start in the 2019 playoff season. They had a blowout win against the Washington Nationals in game one of their NLDS series. And CBS News Cara Finstrom is live at Dodger Stadium with the lowdown on last night's game. Can't wait for another win tonight, Cara. I know, me too. You know, we're always showing you the perfectly manicured field out here. Well, take a look at this because I like this even better. You see all those cleat marks out there? Those are the marks of victory. A huge win for the Dodgers last night. And we are lucky this morning to have with us here Jorge Harin. He is a Dodgers broadcaster for the Spanish Radio Network. And you were here for all the action last night with your dad. Tell us about your special partnership. Absolutely. I never thought I'd uh, find myself sitting next to my dad as his partner, you know, I remember as a kid sneaking up into the broadcast booth and sitting down quietly behind him while watching him as he called a game. But now to be a partner with my dad, the last seven years of in broadcasting for the Dodgers and the last three years sitting just to his left is, uh, is really something very special for me and for my family. So neat. And let's get to some video yeah. of one of the really big highlights last night, and that was Walker Bueller's pitching. He was amazing. Uh, you know, when you think about a 25-year-old Walker Bueller taking the mound in what really turned out to be a statement game. Remember, it's the Nationals who came into this uh, having, uh, uh, you know, uh, snatched uh, the victory away from the Milwaukee Brewers late in the game, the eighth inning. And so they came in feeling awfully good and very proud of themselves, thinking that momentum was on their side. And then to come in and face a Walker Bueller with his presence, 25 years old, facing the likes of uh, uh, Anthony Rendon and Juan Soto and uh, Azdrubal Cabrera. I mean, uh, he went right through that lineup, pitched six innings of shutout ball and struck out eight. I mean, it's the Dodgers' response to that statement game that took place back in Washington. Well, they made a statement last night. And we get Clayton Kershaw tonight, so it's just going to continue. Um, we want to give you a moment, though, to tell us about something very special to you, and that is your foundation. You mentioned how special Dad yes. is to you. Mom It's It's always been well. part of our family as I grew up, and, you know, it was my mom who really put the idea in my dad's head to come to this country, see what you could do having never seen a baseball game. And 61 years later, he's a, uh, a broadcaster in the Hall of Fame, Baseball's Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. He's won numerous awards. He's never been out of work. He's, uh, he's a very proud immigrant, as we all are. But it was my mom who was really the, the glue that kept us all together. It, it, she's the one that made us always feel growing up, while well, my dad was always on the road or at the ballpark every night, we never felt neglected for anything. And unfortunately, as time and as life is, we lost my mom during spring training. She was with us. She suffered a heart attack and passed away after 65 years of marriage with my dad. So in honor of her memory and the accomplishments, my father and his legacy, we formed a, 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 a foundation, uh, the Jaime and Blanca Harin Foundation, with the whole purpose of it, of, of being there to help others realize their dreams and their goals through scholarships and partnerships, such as the Dodgers Foundation that does a number of great programs. And it's like people like Los Defensores who stepped up and formed a partnership with us on this foundation that's going to allow us to try and help someone else reach their goals. Thank you so much for joining us. One of the great things that came out of the game <laughs> as well. And game time tonight, uh, Suzanne, Sarah, 637. All right. I can't wait. That's my Friday night plan. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cara.